The problem with XR design today is that there are no real tools that help designers to create really cool prototypes for AR and VR applications. Sure, there are cool tools like Blender, which is an amazing software and other cool softwares from Adobe, for example, or you can just hack something together in Unity, but most of them seem like a workaround and they are not really designer friendly. So basically, if you are a designer and you cannot code, you are screwed. Fortunately, this all will change tomorrow. What is up my friends, Dinesh here, and this channel is all about helping you to create professional AR, VR games and experiences. So yeah, basically that you build games and experiences that don't suck. And this video is all about the ultimate XR creation and collaboration platform that any designer must have up his sleeves. And the best, no coding needed. Let me introduce you your new favorite tool, Shapes XR. Shapes XR is a collaborative design tool to prototype AR and VR content and user experiences for real world products. It enables remote product teams with the tools for brainstorming, ideation in 3D, rapid prototyping, instant sharing, and real time co editing. So, everything that you would want as a designer. With Shapes XR, you can ideate, design, and prototype everything in one tool. And which is pretty cool already, but the coolest part is you can also invite other stakeholders and team members to actually join your experiences from the space that you just created and then you can review it all together yeah, from anywhere in the world. So one person can be here in Berlin, the other one can be, uh, I don't know, somewhere in South America and someone in Japan, I don't know, or anywhere else where there's some internet. So that is really, really powerful and I think very helpful to create productive prototypes that also, yeah, gets reviewed as well. But I don't want to waste any of your precious time. So let's stop talking about it and let's jump right in. And then I can show you my most favorite and I would say the most essential features that this tool has to offer. And then of course you can try it out for yourself. So I see you in VR. This is the main lobby where you start with your experience and yeah, it looks pretty good already. So let's check out the basics first. So welcome to Shape 6 r Design, Prototype and Collaborate. Here we have our toolbar and we just grab things. So basically here, there we go, they are telling us now to create a sphere, I guess. Now we can take it with the other hand, kind of similar to a tilt brush, exactly. And there we go, we just press the grip. And by the way, this is a very good onboarding for um, something that you can also use in your application. Just like how it looks and feels everything. Some nice little 3D animations, just so beautiful. Nice little details. Let me just place it here now and now I have to get the next one. And I touch an object and hold it so like this and now I can move it around. I can start building things already, but probably they are not help me as well. So now I can, can change the color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Pick another color. Sure, no worries. Another one. Okay. Uh, let's make three copies. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like now you can also like take these things and you have built something. I don't know. It could be like a button or like a chair to sit on. And now you can, yeah, as, with this button over here, you can duplicate them. So, chip, chip. It just feels super nice. Like you can get crazy. I don't know. Like that's not very creative, I guess, but uh, you can do really cool stuff. Like, I mean like every menu, spatial menu would have like multiple buttons and that's a way on how you can get them basically. I press the grip now and I can like select them like this, which is also pretty cool. I mean, I guess that's good. And now we can move them all together by uh, using the grip. And one thing they maybe don't tell us, we can also scale them down and up, which is also pretty handy, I guess. So. Yeah, everything that you would want from a prototyping tool, I would say. And now yeah, deleting us, you can just take them and choop, throw them away. What else? Oh, I think I did all of the <laughs> tutorials already. That's a nice little party place over here. Thank you. Congratulations, you have learned the basics. Try to explore further, uh, co-create with friends, bring your models and images. That's something that we are going to do in a second. Um, let me actually go back to the lobby. So yeah. I mean, basically, um, a nice tool to build like these kind of applications. Again, you can just check them out yourself, um, all of these demos, but let's 
actually create something super basic. I mean, uh, we don't have all the time in the world. And this is how the empty scene looks. I think that's the, the middle. Let me just zoom out a little bit. And one thing that I like to do personally, as a yeah, shape six art expert, uh, I create a human just to get some sense of space, basically. Like it just helps me a lot. Look at this, how cool it looks. Like it just, I mean, this is how you should build your eyes, basically. You can just uh, get a lot, lot of inspiration by shape six art. And now let me just uh, take one of these guys. And now like small little tricks. Again, let me know if you want to have more of these in the comments below. But um, you can also snap them to the floor because otherwise it's super hard to get like a special feeling. Everything is just like this. And just, that's kind of stupid, right? So what you can do is if you're close to a surface, you have this button over here that you can press and now he snaps to yeah, some object basically. And lots of cool tricks that um, you can also use and um, you can let me know if you want to have more of these kind of videos. And now let's just assume we want to build a nice little uh, lobby. Like super, super basic, don't worry. I'm not the pro over here, but maybe you should have something like this. And again, I want to snap it to the floor. And we see already there's this nice little laser. And now it's snapped. So he's standing on this kind of thing to also get some orientation for himself. And I want to have some, some um, outer shell basically. Also snap it, and now I can um, make it big. That's really big. And now you see, like now it's gonna be handy to also get a feeling of um, space by moving out or zooming out. Let me just give this thing a different color. And there we go. And now, whew, let me see if I can do it. I want to show you some other things as well, first of all. So what we can do is you can do a lot of object manipulation here as well. And I want to scale it down. I guess I have to. Do it like this, Whew. and now, yeah, kind of like a Unity or any other free tool, we can like take them here and then do it like this. I think that is a um, little less uh, claustrophobic for our little guy over here. And uh, now I want to move it. You can also use this multi thing, but I'm not so such a pro right now that I can do it. Now it's like lost again. Let me just snap it, hopefully, to the floor. Oh, there we go. And now, kind of like this. I don't know if it's if it's cool or not. Let's go inside, and then we get a better feeling, 100%. Uh, and kind of to the height to this guy. And I think that's not too bad. I mean, we are here basic. Uh, I'm a developer, so uh, let's see what I can build here. Now, the thing that you want to do, let's um, move up over here and build a nice eye window for our friend. And the cool thing is they already have, um, let me, oh, uh, they have the curve UI already, which I would highly recommend for pretty much most VR applications, like if it's a big one. Um, if it's a small one on your, on your hand or something like this, or like here, then um, the flat one is fine, but in this case I want to use this one here. And um, whew, now I want to take it, make it big first, but it's way too small. You see this weird behavior, it's um, some snapping, I don't know exactly, but you can press uh, B button to now like have a free flow kind of thing. And again, I'm not gonna do like super perfect right now, just like this is not too bad. If I'm standing here, I can see the UI, I can like point to it. And now we need a couple of buttons that the friend can press. And I think then we are mostly good to go already with this basic, basic setup. But let's just see, let's get some red colors. Uh huh. Like this little circle first. Uh -huh. We can make it bigger even. Uh, we can also snap it. Yeah, now it's snapping to the um, curved UI. I mean, it's curved, so it's gonna be kind of awkward. But let's get some others. So he has some choice. Uh, what else? Okay, star. Of course. Then now we need a triangle. And I don't know if I can find a umbrella. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Let me know if you got the reference, but I, I assume you did. Uh, let's just get something similar then. Uh, that's also pretty uh, painful, I guess, to do. So, this thing is still selected. Let me just deselect it somehow. I have no idea how to exactly do it. Oh, okay. Just press both, apparently. That works. And now our friend can um, yeah, select these kind of things. Let's add a little nicer touch. So to finish it up, our wonderful space over here, I have to say it's not too bad 
for like two minutes of video, I guess. Let's see, I will take this uh, spear thing. There we go. And now we can snap it again, make it a bit bigger. But we can shrink it. Uh, let me try the classic tool. Let's see if I can get it done. Uh, we have a lot of things here. I think this one is scale, probably. Yes, it is. You know, let's make it super small. Uh, I guess. Oh, that's rotation. And there's the best thing about this tool. The very, very best thing about this tool, I guess, it is you can go back. And this is so cool. Like you can control V, control Z, um, control Z, control Y. It's so cool. Now let me just go here and we have a nice little platform as well, still a bit too big so let me just make it smaller and there we go and now let me just move the guy on top of it and I think yeah that's pretty good, I'm proud of myself. Yeah, so you see, like, I mean, that was, I can just show you nice little cool stuff all day long, basically, like, we can even scratch these kind of things like this, or you can build something, basically, by just grabbing these things and then duplicating them again, like, you can do a lot of crazy stuff, like, it's, it's very powerful, um, and again, like, if you want, I can do, oops, more of that, there we go, um, but yeah, I think that is um, pretty good for this session now. One thing that I really love about yeah, shapes, especially as a Unity developer, is that you can import your scene with like just getting the room name and uh, that's it, all you have to do. So you download the shape6r package over here and then once you have it, you just go over here, importer and what was the number? 88D37S, I guess. Uh, let me see, import space, and then let's see what happens. And yeah, there we go. And let's see, da -da -da. there we have our wonderful space with our little creation over here. So that is also really cool. And the last thing I want to talk about today is also you can um, go on the website, I think app.shape6r, no worries, I will link it in the description. Here you can download and import your OBJ files. And that's it basically. You can also open the space uh, via browser. So if someone doesn't want to yeah, wear a VR headset, that person can just um, watch it in 2D basically. 88D, uh, 37S, whoa, bam, immediately. And now it's loading the same scene in um, yeah, 2D basically, or in on the screen. And there we are, very simple. So you just yeah, move around like an FPS game and you can also have like viewpoints when you have like different scenes and stages, all of that stuff, like you would want to expect from any kind of um, collaboration tool. Uh, you can apparently also share it. I can give you that link and then you can join my wonderful scene. What a great session. So, how much does it cost and can I recommend it or who do I recommend it to? And the pricing is probably one of the best things of this tool because it is free to use, which is amazing. And even their paid plans are very affordable. They are only costing uh, $10 per month, which is absolutely fine for any kind of tool basically and then yeah if you're a big organization of course there's some custom prices i don't know you can ask them yourselves but um yeah the pricing is very very um good i would say and so who do i recommend it to well pretty much any xr designer or any designer who wants to move into xr because this tool is just so 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 great and by the way i'm not sponsored any or anything like this uh, there is no business relation or something like this. I think they should really consider to hire me as a brand ambassador. <laughs> I'm pushing that so much. But again, it's a great product. So uh, whoever you are, even as a developer, it's if it's free, then there is nothing to lose really. So must tool for any designer or um, UX, UI creator, whatever you want to call yourself. And then also quite interesting for developers as well because you can just um, sketch up things so 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 fast so there's I guess no one I would not recommend it to except maybe someone who doesn't like to build cool user-friendly applications there will be a link in the description for yeah, shapes XR of course that you can just check out 
And then, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I really, really would love to hear your feedback because I have no idea if that content, uh, especially like XR design, actually uh, resonates with you guys uh, here on YouTube. I get a lot of requests on this um, on LinkedIn already, which is cool. But again, like no comments means you guys don't care. And then just let me know if it's good, if it's okay, if it's bad. Should I do tutorials on this tool? Should I do more on development? Whatever you mention here, then uh, I will care about, of course. There's one video that you should watch next because it answers all the questions that I got a lot already on UI UX for XR. So check it out here. Yeah, I think it should be somewhere around here. You will see it. And yeah, thank you so much for listening. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, give the like, subscribe, bell, you know, all of that good old stuff. And as always, I see you in the next one.